Okay, uh, all the speakers of the Michelin Contest is here. It's a silly question. <laughs> okay, anyway, so let us start uh, our ceremony of a um, Premix 3 event. And so first, uh, we'd like to, uh, so, so, sorry, uh, I'd like to introduce you, uh, our evaluator, uh, the viewer of this uh, mission item on the street. And first, uh, Professor Hiroshi Kawahara from uh, Saiba University. <laughs> and Mr. Masaya Yamamoto from Weather News. <laughs> so, uh, he succeeded in launching their first satellite yesterday. Congratulations. And Dr. Lena Sander from IEA. <laughs> and Professor Sir Martin Sweeting from SSTL and University of Surrey. <laughs> and the, uh, Professor Hammerstein from Stenbosch. <laughs> and he's the chairperson of this uh, uh, evaluation committee. And myself, uh, Shinji Nakasuka from University of Tokyo. <laughs> okay. Uh, First of all, uh, we would like to give uh, the certificate of participation uh, to all of these five teams. Okay, so uh, I'd like to uh, announce the name, and so please come up uh, to the stage. First, uh, the microgravity experiment recovery satellite, Emmy Arias, please come up to the stage. So the, all the team members, all the team members, maybe I guess five members, please come up. And Professor Kawahara. And after uh, we gave we give all the certificate of participation, we would like to announce the winner. Okay? So please please stay. Okay, please come Okay, please come up here. Yeah, there are many big guys, so... <laughs> okay, so, Kamara Sensei, please. Please Mission Idea Contest Workshop Certificate of Participation Presented to users Terry uh, Brennan uh, Cass Husman uh, Simon Moffat and Devon Politier did I say that right? Okay. University of Victoria, Canada. And the developers, uh, Sin To, in the University of New South Wales at Canberra, Australia. Okay. For the submission entitled, uh, Microgravity Experiment Recovery Satellite, MERS, on the occasion of the first UNICEF Global Meeting, November 23rd, 2013. Tokyo, Japan, Shinichi Nakasuka, uh, and Herman Stein. Congratulations. Especially because you have 
better microgravity conditions uh, on a low Earth orbiting satellite. Um, the one problem or concern is, is the re-entrance. Uh, what will happen to your experiment during re-entrance? Uh, then we thought technically uh, it's not been developed thoroughly yet. Uh, they need some. They need to de give it some more uh, uh, work. Um, there will be great technical challenges. Uh, definitely, it's a very risky from a legal of, and liability point of view to re-enter safely and not hit something somewhere on the ground. And uh, we also thought that the impact on humanity may not be that great. It's a, it's a good scientific uh, mission, but overall, for humanity, you need to do a bit of more marketing uh, for everyone to see the benefits. But thanks for entrance and uh, entering the competition, and good luck with your ventures in future. Okay. Thank you very much. So, sorry, uh, please, please stay on the stage until all the you know, presentation is made. So please, please go on the corner, please. <laughs> Okay, so also, uh, please stay here, uh, Professor Hammer. Okay, so next, uh, I'd like to give this certificate to... Okay, the second one is... Uh, the number two, uh, 4S Initiative Satellite School Science Simple Space Students. So please, uh, five members, please come up here. And the uh, presenter is uh, Mr. Masaya Yamamoto. Please come up. Okay, uh, please, hurry up.
is a similar majority of what's on the certificate in this here. Uh, I can just certificate of participation to Araf Nabil Rashwan. Yeah, again, we have to congratulate this team. Uh, the reviewers thought it's, uh, it can be of great value to some countries, uh, especially the Nile River, many countries sharing the same river uh, to monitor pollution, for instance, in, in the Nile, so that countries downstream doesn't suffer from the pollution. Uh, there was a couple of negatives also uh, that was highlighted by the re reviewers. Um, especially the high sense, potential high sensor costs. So one should look at the reviewers think that $600 is maybe not realistic from the sensor cost point of view. Uh, maybe there needs to be done more work on that. Uh, the, ground the ground station link budget also seems not to be realistic. Uh, so especially in the U UHF uh, frequency range over uh, developed countries, there's lots of UHF signals that the satellite will be able, able to pick up. And then also there was concerns about sensor maintenance issues, so that once you have a sensor in a river somewhere, you have to maintain it, and, and that can also be a, a big task to do that. So there needs to be done more work, but it's a, it's a great idea. Thank you. Thank you very much. So now the uh, fourth presentation, monitoring natural disasters with more satellites. Okay, and the presenter is uh, uh, Professor Samadhi. Okay, please. <clears throat> Thank you, and uh, I very much like to present this uh, certificate of participation to Christoph Ostia of uh, Space uh, Slovenia. Again, uh, some comments from the reviewers. Uh, this, is, this is not a new idea. Uh, currently, it's being done on some satellite missions that was also uh, listed on your slide. But you have particular ideas that's, that's novel, and it's worth uh, looking further into uh, the improvement of the data information part. I think it's definitely important, and improving the data latency to make sure that when there's a disaster, uh, the data and what you should do and the results should reach the end user very quickly and it seems that that is what you're aiming for in your presentation as well. Uh, thank you very much for that. Okay, thank you very much. So, uh, go to the final presentation. Uh, phase is ultra precise absolute flux spectroscopy of stars from space. So, please come. And I will give this a dedicate. <laughs> okay, so uh, Dr. Carlos Del Brugo, congratulations. So now uh, we gave all the certificate of participation, and now it's time to announce the winner. Just before that, I uh, oh, just want a few com comments. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. The reviewers thought it's a great application. It can definitely advance the field of space astronomy uh, a lot. Uh, currently, to do it on a less than 50 kilo satellite uh, is maybe still not possible. Uh, in plus minus 10 years from now, surely uh, one can seriously consider it. Uh, it. One thing that will be certain is it won't be a cheap or a low cost mission because of the sophisticated technology that will be required but I think it, it's a great idea, or we think as reviewers it's a great idea, and, and keep up the good work and see if you can find a developer to implement it. Okay, so thank you very much. So, I'm very sorry. Okay, so next uh, we would like to announce uh, the winner of this Premix 3 event. So, 
uh, address uh, Chairman uh, Professor Hammerstein to announce the winner. Please. Yeah, as I've said before, it was a very close uh, fought uh, competition and the marks between the three teams that could participate uh, as users and developers uh, were very close, really very close. At the end, with just one or two marks more than the other two teams, was the third team utilizing nanosatellites for water monitoring for the Nile River. Best proposal award presented to Araf Nabil Nashman uh, Rashman, Cairo University, Egypt, uh, and the developer. Ayumi Tokai, University of Tokyo, Japan, for a submission entitled Utilizing Nanosatellites for Water Monitoring for Nile in the Nile River. And uh, on the occasion of this UNICEF global meeting, the first UNICEF meeting, uh, signed by Professor Nakasuka and by myself. And congratulations. So, uh, it is some uh, general comment. So, uh, this is only the week three event. So, we will have the final week three presentation next year. Okay, so maybe I encourage all of you to prepare for the you know, final proposal to this week three by reflecting the comments which given by uh, Professor Hammerstein. Okay, and so would you? Yeah, just a final comment from my side. Everyone in this audience today should in, should enter the Big Three competition. Although these guys have a head start, doesn't mean that they will be the winners next year, standing here on the podium. So please come with your ideas, get a user and a developer combined in a team, and present something next year in a Big Three competition. Uh, it will be announced where it should be soon by Ray, I think. Congratulations to everyone that participated. Very good. Okay, so please stay on, on the stage. stage. Maybe we will give, have some uh, photo session after that. Okay, so before that, I'd like to ask uh, Ms. Ray Kawashima to make the uh, schedule announcement of the next week three. Okay? And as uh, the chairman said that, uh, you know, all of you have a still chance, okay? Please prepare your proposal and send, uh, submit that to the week three for the next year. Okay, so, Ms. Kawashima, please. Thank you very much. And the next mission in the contest, the third mission in the contest, will be held in Kita Kyushu uh, in the next year, November. Uh, the middle of November. Uh, we will make announcements soon. In the so we have uh, one hour, uh, one year. So <laughs> no, no, quite <laughs> One year. So yeah, we will make a plan and the make set up deadline and the make an announcement through our website. In the well, could you stand up the if you are a regional coordinator? Egypt, Japan, and and oh, the, okay, um, maybe you can, you you guys come here, and the, we will have a a photo session later. So please come now. Okay. So you know the the success of the mission and the contest. I uh, rely, rely on uh, these regional coordinators, the high stress efforts. So we, we are very, very happy to have these people, and they are uh, working very hard. And, the, and actually, they are influenced to students, and the, the, the regional people are very great. So we'd be uh, happy 
to invite uh, more people in more region, from more region. So, um, let's run. So thank you very much, and we would like to um, see more uh, exciting ideas. And what we want to see is to realize the mission idea in the reality and to contribute to uh, the humanity and the society and the, the better futures. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, thank you very much. So let us conclude uh, this uh, award ceremony of Premix 3 event. So uh, I'd like to congratu congratulate you again uh, for your kind presentation and also the award. Congratulations. Okay, so now at uh, the end of this uh, ceremony, and so maybe we'd like to take a photo or. Another photo session. <laughs> there are many photo sessions. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so please please come. Okay, so uh, the maybe the participants who has a, a certificate just in front, and please show your certificate. Okay. See, see, see. No, see, no, see.